Let's talk about kind of the reasons why hydroplaning does occur and it's really having to do with speed as well as your tire grooves. Your tread grooves on the bottom of your tire, well they typically funnel water when they have really good tread and what that does is it allows the tire to be in full contact with the road. You're kind of maximizing that friction so you can stop really quickly and accelerate and you don't lose control. But when those grooves fail to funnel enough water, well that's when we actually see more in the way of hydroplaning. Of course that can be very dangerous as the tire itself, it's not in contact with the road, so it's essentially like being on ice, and it can be a very scary situation. It really has to do with speed. As you can see here, 40, 65 miles per hour. The greater your speed, the better chance you will be hydroplaning when the rain comes on down. So speeds over 45 miles per hour, not advised. I know we'll be traveling on the highway in some heavy rain, but really got to make sure we're being careful there. Low tire tread depth, also having a big emphasis on this. You do need a certain tread depth to actually pass your car at the state inspection, but always want to make sure we're keeping our tires in good shape here as we uh, maintain contact with the ground. Deeper the water on the road, the better chance you'll be hydroplaning. Of course, you see more of a glisten there on the roadway, likely a little bit more in the way of some water hanging on top. Tire pressure too high or too low. If you see that low tire light on, make sure you get that up as we'll want to make sure we're kind of just minimizing any potential factors that are increasing hydroplaning chances. Oil slick from lack of rainfall also can have an impact. And yeah, of course, heading into the winter season too. snow and ice can only compound this problem.